I just thought I would make a different kind of video today talking about like what I wish I'd known in my 20s because I think it can be a really difficult time for a lot of people and there's just some things I was thinking about that probably would have made life easier um, and things that I know now that I'm in my 30s that I wish I'd known then. So the first thing that I was going to say was that there's no hurry and that time isn't running out to achieve certain goals like whenever I was in my 20s I felt like I was in a big rush to get married and like settle down and I thought I had to get into a, an obvious career choice straight away and that would be me sorted for life but I don't really think life works like that anymore and sometimes you end up doing things that you never thought that you would have ever done. And the second thing that I wanted to like talk about was that just because you live alone it doesn't mean that you like have to be alone all the time because there were times whenever I was in my 20s and I lived alone and I kind of made myself more isolated than I needed to be and just because I was like in my flat living on my own it didn't mean I had to be so lonely like there were times whenever I kind of sought out activities to break it up and make it less lonely for myself but there were also times whenever I kind of I hid myself away and kind of made it worse than it needed to be like for example you don't need to have a friend with you or a flatmate or a partner to be able to go out and have fun like um I wish I'd taken advantage more of the what the cities I was living in like had to offer um and I did go out sometimes by myself I've always liked being in my own company but like there were phases where I was living alone and maybe all my friends were busy studying for like exams that were coming up and I still wanted to have a social life but I just kind of shut mine down because they were all busy so I just like hid away with my music and books and stuff and like there's a time for that too but I just think like you can always go to a cafe if you feel like you need company I just find it like kind of reassuring yeah like there are always places to go and things to do and you don't need a lot of money to do them like even just going for a really long walk and taking photos and stuff and taking time to appreciate what's around you the third one was that um like you i believe now that you are not meant to be with somebody who hurts you and i think since being in a healthy relationship like i'm learning this now but it's taken me a long time to learn that um, I used to think that there were like these tragic circumstances where somebody had issues and like they were somehow fixable if you were like what they needed you to be and that there was like good reason sometimes for people mistreating you but I just don't think there ever is a good reason for it and like someone's redeeming qualities don't make up for the fact that they're hurting you and it doesn't matter if they're a not a bad person in general if they're hurting you they're still bad for you and um, another point that i like was thinking about was that your own thoughts can do more damage to you than anyone else's words or actions can because you have to listen to your own thoughts 24 hours a day and if they're not ones that you want to like entertain um it's like why should you allow them to have space in your head because like you can kind of switch off from other people and have time alone and and eventually kind of like put up a boundary there but with your own thoughts like they have access to you all the time so you really need to like watch what you're thinking another point is like i wish i'd wandered around more because i know that um i have explored a lot and lived in different places and stuff but i just feel like there's been quite a lot of time where i have not made like not made full use of the opportunities that I had like I would get consumed by something that was upsetting me mainly to do with relationships that ended up not mattering and then because I was kind of going through that I wouldn't see the amazing things that were on offer around me and I wish I'd gone on more like long walks exploring neighborhoods I didn't know and looking for little places that like I could uncover and yeah I just wish I'd gone on more like long walks to areas I didn't know and stuff like that because I do tend to do that more now but I think once you have kids and you've got more responsibilities and stuff you don't have the same amount of time to do that. Another thing that I like wish I'd realized in my 20s is that being creative can kind of save you from your own sadness like 
I used to put off being creative a lot more than I do now because I was worried about it not being perfect and not looking right and about like me being really critical of myself as I was doing it and not being pleased with the results but I've realized that that is like a form of like escapism from whatever suffering you're going through like even just the act of making art or writing a book or making something creative takes you out of your like own problems for a while and it's like a mental holiday and I just wish that I had chosen to dive into that more like in my 20s without worrying so much about what the results would be like. Another thing that I wish that I'd known in my 20s is that um, like you will regret the things that you don't do more than the things you do like even when I've done really stupid things that have ended up with terrible consequences for me I wouldn't go back in time and change those things because I think those are the experiences that like shape you into the person that you become and they make you more interesting and they develop empathy in you and it just those are the things that make you grow as a person yeah just don't let too many things pass you by because um I just think that they're given to you for a reason and you can let fear kind of stop you from trying things but I would rather have lots of interesting stories to tell later in life than like a lot of boring ones because I've just avoided doing things that I, I wish I'd tried. Um, and the last thing that I was thinking about my 20s is that they go a lot faster than you think. I think when you're in the middle of them and there's certain problems that arise and you're kind of growing into the adult that you're becoming and you still haven't really found your place in the world it can feel never ending and like you'll always be young and you'll never run out of that sort of youthfulness and in a way you don't i think that that's a personal choice in a lot of ways but i just think the actual decade of your 20s ends up going really quickly and suddenly you'll look back on it and think like what happened like where did it disappear to and just that like it's important to enjoy it as much as you can and to not let problems that come up um define you too much and prevent you from having a good time because it, it can be like a special time in your life and I just think that I spent too long worrying and stressing about things in my 20s that I didn't really need to worry about and that have ended up not being something later on that has caused me a lot of concern. So yeah, um, I hope this video is helpful to somebody. Um, I don't even know if it is, but yeah, um, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe for more videos. Um, yeah, and have a great day. Bye.